Coming up in this video, I'll show you an easy way to dual boot Windows on a single PC. Maybe you want to keep your work PC separate from your personal stuff, or you want to have a separate OS optimised for gaming. I'll go through step by step on how to set up your existing PC for booting between two separate operating systems. Firstly, I just want to say thanks to Isus for sponsoring this video. Isus makes a bunch of cool applications ranging from data recovery to partition managers, backup tools and loads of others. And today I'm going to be using Isus Partition Master to repartition my hard drive to enable me to install a second copy of Windows. I've put a link to the download in the description below if you want to try this out yourself. My friends at Isus have kindly given me 100 copies of Partition Master Pro with a lifetime license to share with the viewers of this video. So stick around to the end of the video where I'll give you the details of how to get your free lifetime copy. Okay, let's get started. I've already downloaded and installed Partition Master. The name Partition Master for this app doesn't do it justice. It actually does so much more. Not only can you manage your disk partitions, but you can also clone a disk to a new drive, which is great for when you want to upgrade to a bigger and faster solid state drive. You can change the partition type of an existing partition. You can recover lost partitions and also create bootable media for fixing systems that can't boot. It's also got a toolkit containing some extra features, a couple of which I'm going to use in this demo. So I'll click on Partition Manager and I can see my current 1TB disk installed. I'll right click on the Windows partition and select Resize. I can drag the existing partition and make it smaller which will then free up space for a second partition where I can install my second OS. You can also type in a partition size if you want to be more precise. Once you're happy with the sizes then click OK. We'll get a summary about the resize operation and we can then click on Apply to make the change. The partitions will then be resized. OK, that's completed successfully and we can see my Windows partition is now 512GB in size and I've got space to create another partition. Rather than creating a new partition here, I'm going to let the Windows Setup program create the new partition. I'm now ready to install my second OS. By the way, if you don't already have your Windows installation media, you can go into the toolkit and there's a download option where you can download Windows 10 or Windows 11. Alternatively, you can download the OS installation media directly from Microsoft. I've already been in here and downloaded the installation media, so I'm going to reboot into the Windows Setup application. I've now booted into the Windows 11 Setup. I'll click on Next and Install Now. I'll skip the product key for now and choose Windows 11 Pro. We'll need to select the customised install. Now we need to tell Windows Setup where to install Windows. And we can see that we now have 512 gigabytes of unallocated space. So I'll choose that partition and click Next. Windows 11 will then install as normal. Once the installation is completed, you'll be greeted with a boot menu showing you both operating systems. So I'll choose the new Windows 11. This is a completely independent OS from Windows 10 and you can alternate between the two at any time. If I open up File Explorer, we can see two drives. Drive C is Windows 11 because that's the one that I booted into, and Drive D is my original Windows 10 OS. I like to rename the drive so it makes it clearer which drive is which, so I'll right-click each drive and rename them as Windows 11 and Windows 10. Now that's Windows 11 installed, I'm going to reboot back into Windows 10 and show you one last thing that you can do in the Partition Master application. I'll open Partition Master and go into the Toolkit. Then we go into the Boot Repair option where it shows the Boot Menu items. If we click on the BCD menu and click Next, we can change some of the Boot Menu options. We can alter the Countdown Timer or even disable the timer completely. We can choose to skip the Boot Menu and automatically load the default OS. And you can also select which OS will be the default option. If we click on the arrow next to the OS, we can change the menu title and enter your own custom name. This is useful for times when your second OS is the same as the first OS. For example, if your existing PC has Windows 10 installed and you choose to have a second Windows 10 installation, they would both appear as Windows 10 in the boot menu and you wouldn't be able to tell which is which. Changing the menu title here will help you distinguish between the two. Let's reboot and take a look at the new names. And here we can see that the names have been updated. 
Okay, I'll go back into Windows 10, and if you remember from earlier, I mentioned that Isus have kindly given me 100 copies of Partition Master Pro with a lifetime license to give away to viewers. So the first 100 viewers who install Partition Master Pro and use this license key to activate the software, they'll be immediately upgraded to the Pro version absolutely free. The download link and the license key are in the description below. Once you've installed the app, simply click on the activate button, enter the license key below and hit the activate button. And as long as you're one of the first 100 people to do it, you'll immediately be upgraded to the Pro version. Let me know in the comments if you managed to snag yourself a license, and if you didn't get one this time, subscribe to the channel and look out for potential giveaways in the future. Okay, that's it for this demo. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.